Ah, the sweet sounds of FT8. But what if you don't want to listen to it? What about, instead of doing acoustically coupled, you want to use some cables? I can show you how to do that real easy. Stay tuned. Welcome back. And this time around, I have learned, thanks to Mark, shout out, go subscribe to his channel. It's linked in the uh, description below, KD7DTS. And Mark, thank you for working me all those times during POTA. I have discovered, uh, rather, he has discovered for us and I have rediscovered the uh, proper cables you need to hook up your iPhone doing IFTX to your KX2, KX3 so that you don't have to do it acoustically coupled if you don't want to. So here we go with what those cables look like. So the first thing you're going to need is a, a lightning or a USB-C, depending on your phone, to a TRRS cable. All the Amazon links are in the description below. The next thing you're going to need is a TRRS to a TRRS cable to go from one end of that other cable to this one a TRRS to double TRS splitter. And these are ostensibly marked headphone and microphone. So these, this becomes your sound interface uh, for connecting to the radio. Now, before you can connect it to the radio, there are a couple of quick configuration changes you have to make. First thing you have to do is make sure that your monitor function is turned off. So mine is turned on because I'm a CW operator and want to hear what I'm sending. Um, the next thing I want to do is I want to uh, turn off the microphone button and I want to turn off the microphone bias. So what does the microphone bias do? Well, it powers, it biases the Electret microphone in the Electret element in the MH3 mic, um, hand mic. So you want to turn that off because bad things will happen if you don't. So the next thing I'm going to do is plug all the cables together. Those TRS connectors are nice and stiff because they're brand new. Make sure they're plugged in real well. I'm going to plug in my lightning connector now. And then remember what I said, the headphone doesn't go into the headphone out port. Headphone out is the audio out from the phone, so it goes into the microphone jack. And then the microphone connector going into the phone comes out of the headphone jack in the side of the radio. And turn the volume back up about a third of the way. And then the last thing I'm going to do, and we're going to, we can see now that on the waterfall, we've got a bunch of signals that are starting to come in. So the next thing I'm going to do is turn on the Vox function so we are ready to transmit. And now I'm going to click on the reply window to see who's calling CQ that I can answer. And then we'll see if we can't make a fast contact. So now I've got the phone set up and everything's plugged in. And now I'm in the reply mode because I want to see who's calling that I might be able to work. So I've uh, highlighted N0ACT. You can see the transmit light has come on on the radio and uh, the radio is uh, doing its thing. I can see my power meter is deflecting the, the appropriate number of watts. The, um, the last thing you want to set when you're doing your first transmission, and I'll show it to you on the next cycle here, is you want to look at the ALC deflection and adjust your uh, microphone level. Because remember, we're going into the microphone port on the radio. And you, wanna, you want that ALC to uh, just be right, right up to the top there. And that seems counterintuitive because uh, many other radios, you just want to tickle that ALC. So let's see if he heard me uh, with our fingers crossed. And that'd be so cool if he heard and we could get a successful demo. And let's see what's going to happen in about three seconds here. He heard me. Okay, he heard me at plus four. Oh my goodness, that's a huge signal for five watts. I'm stoked at that. This seems to be a really simple solution that you can do uh, with any radio, never mind having a KX3 or KX2. The process is going to be the same. Uh, set your microphone drive, turn on your Vox, uh, make sure that any Electret um, uh, balancing isn't turned on and uh, make sure your ALC is set appropriately for your radio. So I hope this has helped you out and uh, you've enjoyed and learned something from this demo. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. 73.